tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello friends, today I'll show you something about uh, curves and the motion path. But uh, before that, I want to start with a brief comment. I often get questions, please do a tutorial about this and that. For example, hey watch guy, I don't know who the watch guy is. I'm certainly not the watch guy. This tutorial was great. Can you please make a tutorial on using SDK with a sphere where sphere is a AI mesh light where etc. No, actually I could, maybe I could, but uh, I just don't have time and mind for for this because I want to concentrate on on other things and future tutorials like this one so please don't feel offended I just don't fulfill tutorial requests so we're in Maya now and uh, I go to the side window and I draw a curve under curves and surfaces are the curves here and uh, well let us uh, use this one and just draw it like this. Okay, how long is it in terms of time? Well, nothing is in the time slider and uh, we don't have an animation here. We just have this curve. And um, I'll raise it a little bit so we get less distracted by the grid. But we do need the grid, by the way, when you deactivate the grid, the curve is somewhere somewhere in space and you can't really locate it. so this is uh, much better now okay uh, we want to make uh, an object flow along that curve and um, please keep in mind what we see down here we start the animation at frame 1 and it ends at 120 at least that's the standard settings I guess here's a 200 means we can extend the time slider to 200 uh, of course we can extend this uh, to any value we have just keep this in mind we'll return to this in just a minute now uh, let's create an object like a, a NURBS sphere and I want to attach that NURBS sphere to that curve so I select the sphere first and then I select the curve by the way the curve is unselected it's yellow because I did a tutorial about changing the color of the unselected curves which is quite interesting. The default, I think, is a, is a, is a bluish uh, tone, which is not as vi nicely visible as this one. Uh, I'll give you the link in the description. So first, the, the slave, so to say, and then the master. The master is the driving force for our sphere. Now we need to go from modeling, if we were there, to animation. And animation we have constraint because we're going to constrain that sphere to the curve so we go to constraint and here we have the motion path and we attach this to a motion path and we don't use the option box we just use the default so why is the sphere in the middle of that curve now well that's coincidence sort of because we were for a reason I don't remember from the beginning of this tutorial the time slider is at 56 and that's sort of in the middle between 1 and 120 so when I move this forward now and I land at well, that's 120 I'm finished with the animation now the question is can we make this slower or faster when we extend that frame range here to say 200 what does this mean to the flow of that sphere well it still stops at 120 and then it stays there how can we extend it to 200 so it flows a little bit slower and ends here at not from not frame 120 but frame 200 okay that's easy once you know how to do it we press ctrl a to get the attribute editor and somewhere here we find the motion path here you have a u value the u value means the parameterization of that curve starts at zero and it ends at one it doesn't depend on the length and shape of the curve it just means 
Here the curve is finished. The U value means it's finished or zero would be the beginning of the curve and in the middle it would be 0 0.5. So what we'll do now is we select the motion path. Currently we have something in the scene selected like the sphere for example but we want to select and concentrate on the motion path and when you press select here you see keyframes appear here. That one at 120 and that one at 1. That's the animation range for our sphere. That's why the number 120 appears here and 1 appears there. Now we can easily extend this or move this to 200. We do this by pressing and holding the middle mouse button and just dragging it over here and set a keyframe. And now we jump back to the previous keyframe and we delete it. Right mouse click, delete. So now at frame 120, the sphere is not finished with the motion along the curve. It's actually at the U value of 0 0.6. That means it's a little bit after the middle. So you see this is quite easy and there are other ways to move uh, keyframes actually but now we have keyframes at 1 and 200. What I want to uh, show you at the end of this tutorial is I want the curve to really speed up in this area here between sort of frame in my case 60, 60 and frame 115. I want to make it faster. The motion path is selected. Now I go to Windows and the Animation Editors and the top entry is the Graph Editor. And the Graph Editor shows me this single animated value. It's a U value which you see here. U value. This is this curve. It eases in and out which we can change of course. But what, what we can also do is we can insert, we go to Frame 60. Right mouse click insert a key. Actually we need to select the curve uh, keyframe here and we wanted to go to 117 sort of and same thing select the curve and insert a key. So we have keyframes here. Now when we move these two keyframes closer together by for example selecting them pressing R which is the scaling tool we can move them together like this. And here we see something odd and I'll tell you something about it. So the, the shape of the curve obviously has not changed but we see numbers appear here. And these are the extra keyframes we just set. So why is nothing happening here? motion starts at frame 64 sort of. Well let's go back to the graph editor. Here we have negative values and we certainly don't want negative values here. Uh, negative values in, our, in the U world means that the sphere is positioned somewhere before the actual start of the curve which just doesn't make sense. So uh, it's just ignored, being ignored by Maya here. So th this negative value, it just means it sits there and does nothing. Well, we need to change that tangent here. And uh, this is how we go about it. Uh, with the W key, which is basically the translation key, and the middle mouse button, you, you can now change that tangent. And the same should happen up here. So we change that tangent too. I select it and I move it here. So we have a an ease, easing in and easing out, but a, quite an acceleration here because very little time progresses in this between these two keyframes that's basically what we what we did so let's have a look now the sphere starts very slowly accelerates quite drastically and ends smoothly at 200 
PS, create a curve. Create a sphere. Attach it to the motion path. This is what we had before. Now go to the attribute editor, select the motion bar path and with the right mouse click break the connection. Let's go to frame 1 and set this, let's leave it here, set a key here. Now we have a keyframe at frame 1. Now let's uh, change this value to say 0 0.2. Uh, new keyframe is here because I have auto key switched on. If you don't have auto key switched on, you just need to right cl click and set another keyframe. Now we take a very long breath here and we change this just a little bit to 0.3. And then all of a sudden we go to 1. And here we go back to 0. You see? Well, with this I leave you for now. Have a nice day. Bye bye.